Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to this introduction video. In this video, I will explain what this course is about and whether you should take it. In this course, we will build a to-do list app like Google Tasks from start to end. This is a fully CRUD app where you will learn how to create, read, update, and destroy data. In this course, we will use Firebase for database storage, authentication, together with the combined framework with UIKit to build this app from scratch. This course is designed for new developers with 6 to 9 months experience who want to learn the core concepts of CRUD and building a production-grade app. Lastly, we will build this app using the MVC architecture with Swift 5 and Xcode 11. In this course, you will learn to use the new Firebase Firestore Swift SDK that has new features like decodable and property wrappers like document ID and server timestamp. You will learn to add real-time listeners to the database to monitor for changes in your data. You will learn about authentication such as signing up a new user, login, and logout. You will also learn reactive programming using the combined framework which is a great tool to work with. You will learn how to implement protocol extensions, protocol and delegate patterns and closures to communicate between objects. You will also learn about UI animations using weak and unowned self to avoid retain cycles, coding views programmatically, and many more. Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to this short demonstration where I'll walk you through the app that we'll be building together in this course. So as you can see on my screen right now, I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max Simulator with the app already pre-installed. So let's get started by clicking on this button over here and we'll be brought to the login screen. So I'm going to enter my credentials right now. And let's hit on the login button to authenticate against Firebase and that should bring me to the main part of the app. So as you can see right now, I'm on the task table view controller and at the top I have the ongoing and done items over here. This is a segmented control and it helps us to differentiate tasks that are ongoing and tasks that are completed. All right. So right now I'm going to create a brand new task by clicking on the button on the bottom, this plus button over here, which brings up a very nice form. Okay, so for the first task, I'm going to type in buy some more milk and let's click on the save button to save this to the database. Alright, so almost immediately you notice that the item appears at the top of this list and the reason is because we have added a listener to listen for changes in the database. So if let's say this task is completed and I want to mark this as done, all I need to do is to just click on this circle button on the left and I should see this toast message that gives me the confirmation that this task is moved to done. Alright, when I click on this done item, notice that I have this task over here and in the event I make a mistake, I can always revert this action by clicking on this check button over here to move this back to the ongoing state. Alright, so let's assume I want to make some changes to this task. I can always click on this and hit the edit button and maybe I'm going to add a deadline to this task. Okay, so I'm going to click on this calendar icon over here to open the calendar view and let's say I want to choose a deadline for next week. So I'm going to click on the 16th of July and notice that this deadline is now appearing over here. Let's click on the update button to update this task. And you see that over here we have a label that says that this task will be due in one week's time. Okay, so I can also create another task over here. Let's call this pay my housing bills. And I'm going to set a deadline to maybe two months from now. Okay, some random dates over here. And I'm going to click on the save button and notice that we have a new task that's being added to this list with the deadline shown as well. Okay, so now that I'm done with this, I can also choose to delete the task. So I can just hit the delete button and notice that we have a confirmation to say that the task has been deleted. All right, so finally, we have this little menu system over here that allows us to lock out from this app. Okay, so clicking on this will be brought to the main screen of the app. All right, guys, I hope that you find this demonstration useful and I look forward to seeing you in this course.